Registered Phenomena Code 536 Object Class Beta Purple Previous Designate L0-536 Hazard Types Transmutation Hazard Contact Hazard Mind Control Hazard Immeasurable Hazard Containment Protocols Revision 1 L0536 is contained within a standard lesser anomalous object locker in Site 015's low security wing. Personnel with Type 2R clearance and above may access L0536 for additional testing at the discretion of Class 3 personnel. Any and all misuse of L0536 must be reported, in accordance with research personnel standard operating procedures, to lead researcher Dr. DeWin. Revision 2 Following Incident 994-08, L0536 has been reclassified as RPC-536. The object has additionally been assigned to Contact, Transmutative, and Mind Control Hazard Designates, with a containment rating of Alpha Orange. RPC-536 has been moved to Site-015's actively monitored Gamma Beta Containment Wing. It is housed in a reinforced and padded lockbox. All personnel are to exercise extreme caution when handling RPC-536, predominantly the blade. Interactions with the object are to be monitored via standard surveillance systems. In the event that RPC-536 lacerates personnel or triggers its memetic effect, the subsection of the facility in use and its adjacent occupied sectors are to be filled with an incapacitating agent, and a containment breach declared. Agent is comprised of a mix of four methoxycarbonyl, fentanyl, rimafentanyl, and Class A-1 amnestics. On-site ASF teams and protectorate rangers are to prioritize non-lethal means when responding to a containment breach. Revision 3 Research Experimentation Ban June 27 Through Present Authority Site-024 Director Miller Reasoning Following the destruction of RPC-536's previous housing facility and the resulting containment breach, all non-essential interactions with RPC-536 have been banned. We currently do not understand, nor can we safely assess its abilities. In light of these events, RPC-536 has been tentatively reclassified as Beta Purple. RPC-536 is currently contained within Site-024's maximum security wing. Its containment cell is to be equipped with a reinforced vacuum-sealed glass container, fitted with a proprietary maglev suspension system, with an additional tuned mass dampener, adjusted to 274 grams, directly fixed to the object. Standard video surveillance is to be utilized, and its speed checked no less than three times per six-hour shift. The aforementioned maglev and surveillance systems are to utilize the site's primary power for their operation with an additional 10,000-watt diesel generator as a failsafe. Congruent Protocols Personnel are prohibited from responding to any advertisement or commercial material, imperiously those originating from RPC, which showcases RPC-536. Furthermore, MST X-Ray-06 annulifiers, has been tasked with tracking any medium hosting 1-800-A-Exclamation-Point-C-O-A-K-E. Description: RPC-536 is a mint green carbon steel 33x3.5 cm French-style chef's knife with a matching polytetrafluoroethylene handle. A synthetic fluoropolymer of tetrafluoroethylene and Teflon plastic. RPC-536 is devoid of any manufactured marks or labels, aside from a solid black Amazing Co. logo above the bolster on the left blade of the blade. RPC-536's anomalous abilities manifest when an object makes contact with any portion of its blade. When applied with force, RPC-536 will transmute said object into a flower-based confectionery or cake. These transmutations are instantaneous and wholly envelop the entirety of whatever RPC-536 cuts. The confectionaries concocted by RPC-536 are not anomalous and superficially display no obvious signs of transitionary stress or disfigurement. The surfaces of the structures are primarily formed from painted and textured marzipan. A confectionary emulsion consisting of sugar, 
honey, and almonds, the latter of which can be employed in several forms, such as meal, oil, or extract. In addition, the interiors act as cake-derived pseudo-facsimiles, specifically in regards to the object's initial density. Lightweight items, such as construction foams or cotton, convert into aerated sponge cake, while objects with higher density or a large mass will transmute into pound cake. The exact nature of these variations are currently being debated by members of the chemistry department. Discovery. While testing RPC, researchers discovered an infomercial network titled A Exclamation Co. Shop Mo. RPC is believed to be a series of broadcast signal intrusions capable of producing various mimetic effects in an individual. The channel advertised several known Amazing Co. products, including RPC-013 variations, biomechanical warriors such as RPC-237 and RPC-909, trademark symbols such as TM and MD anomalously manifest themselves within any form of written media, referencing official Amazing Co. products. Each product's commercial was accompanied by an indecipherable or nonsensical series of toll-free 1-800 numbers, none of which were acted by the time the cryptography department deciphered their respective number. Despite their failings, the team managed to place a direct call to the number decoded during RPC-536's infomercial. Transcribed below is the aforementioned advertisement. Infomercial number 7132 Transcription Begin Feed 0 seconds. A Technicolor Amazing Co. logo flashes across the screen as the camera pans left to right over a simple stage. A soft theme can be heard, which is believed to be a mixture of La Cucaracha and Turkey in the Straw, played in a round-on offbeat syncopations. 10 seconds. The camera then pans towards center stage as a series of red velvet curtains manifest in the background. 13 seconds. A man walks out from behind one of the curtains as loud whooping, clapping, and cheering overtakes the audio. His face is obscured in abnormally dark shadow as he takes the stage. 17 seconds. The man gestures for the crowd to be silent as he walks back off the stage, then back on the stage which now has a folding table with RPC-536 and several random objects. 21 seconds. As the crowd dies down. Several spotlights illuminate the man. His face is cut out of the shot while the camera is arbitrarily centered on the left side of the table. The man is known to have unnaturally smooth and waxy skin, devoid of hair, with hands lacking fingernails. He is also wearing a yellow button-up shirt with the top four buttons left undone, a hot pink cardigan, and excessively tight white pants. 24 seconds, the man. Sorry. Sorry we have is having to share the studio space. Crowd erupts into applause. Stupid other show, laugh is dumb, is more of like it. Crowd erupts into crickets chirping. I am the host, Jim. We have something product that was a real sweet treat for you today. The man does finger guns at the audience. Audio analysis of the man's voice has led researchers to the belief that it is a combination of no less than five separate individuals. 42 seconds. The camera zooms in further to the left, putting the man entirely off-screen as he grabs RPC-536. 44 seconds. Jim. Isn't the a boot? Crowd woos. We I haven't even have finished it now. Brand new. 55 seconds. The camera zooms out and back to its original position, now showing the man holding RPC-536. 56 seconds. Members of the cryptography department begin to decipher the coded signal that accompanies all products on the ACO ShopMo channel. 57 seconds. Disembodied voice. Our phone call is Sapadan operator is standing by. Matching text appears on screen. 1 minute 4 seconds. Jim. Your ears eat that? Enough loud food. Time for some seafood. I should show you what it does even. 1 minute 16 seconds. The man grabs an apple from the objects on the table. He brings it up to his mouth, which is still off screen, and takes an audible bite out of it. He then places it on the table. Personnel noted that the bite mark was unnaturally large and not indicative of a typical human mouth. 
1 minute 24 seconds, Jim. Mmm. Good human foods. Now let's we use the new Amazing Co. cake knife. Crowd crickets woo. 1 minute 34 seconds. The man then takes RPC-536 and cuts a small piece off the apple. He then smashes the apple revealing its interior had transformed into a cake with an apple jam filling. 1 minute 51 seconds. Jim. Cake knife. Has is doing its job. Crowd explodes in a louder applause than previously. 1 minute 58 seconds to 12 minutes 17 seconds. The man continues to grab and cut all the objects from the table with RPC-536, including a microwave, a car tire, a copy of the Bible, plutonium, an audience cricket, a basketball, a handgun after firing it into the audience, an oxygen tank, and a Level 4 R RPC security badge. Cheers from the audience become excessively frantic as each item is transformed into cake. 12 minutes 19 seconds. Jim. Well, that is all time. Remember our call people will ring you up. The man leans on the table inadvertently cutting it with RPC-536. The table instantly collapses into a pile of cake. The man sheepishly shrugs as the audience burges with laughter. Several scream that they are going into cardiac arrest. 12 minutes 20 seconds. At this time, members of the cryptography department deciphered the message which led them to a toll-free number. 1-800-A-C-O-A-K-E Using IP telephony, authority personnel placed a call, as simultaneously RPC-536 vanished from the feed and re-manifested in the hands of the agent placing the call. 12 minutes 21 seconds. Jim. Oh, have you seen that? We had a friend buyer. Not if done finishing work. Hope they do not need the sheet. 12 minutes 38 seconds. Music swells as the camera pans right to left. The man can be seen gesturing to the cheering audience before walking off stage as the credits roll. Cast and credits are listed in this order. Host. Jim. Director. Producer. Lead grip. Best boy. Makeup artist. CEO. CFO. Moon. Creator. Jose. End feed. Following a manifestation of RPC-536, a security breach was declared. After a brief investigation, on-site ASF personnel were unable to find any lead that indicated the method in which RPC-536 was transported. Furthermore, personnel have been prohibited from attempting to contact any number associated with the ACO Shop Mode shopping channel, and Jim has been added to the Persons of Interest POI listing. Although, based on the available evidence, the Authority suspects Jim may not exist. Addendum 536.01 Following the initial manifestation of RPC-536, the Authority focused its efforts on shutting down all variations of Amazing Co. advertisements, while RPC-536 was classified as a lesser anomalous item. It remained as LO-536 for several months without any major incident aside from junior researcher Peterson turning med door number 17 into cake, until an unrelated containment breach caused by RPC-994 on the 9th of June, 2000. Prior to the incident, personnel had not observed interactions with RPC-536's anomalous traits on sapient or human subjects. Agent Bond, a member of RPC-994's containment team, was unintentionally cut by RPC-536 under inconsequential circumstances during said containment breach. The incident report is as follows. Incident Report 994-08 Incident Dr. Newwin is observed passing through Medical Clinic 7 towards the low security wing. Dr. Newwin would later recall choosing to take a shortcut through the sector while attempting to re-secure RPC-536 per standard containment breach procedures, and to avoid a fire caused by RPC-994's anomalous abilities. Dr. Newwin is seen colliding with a passing nurse and falling towards Agent Bond's bed. As Dr. Newwin stands up, all observable personnel stop and turn towards Agent Bond. Dr. Newwin proceeds to cut up Bond's left leg with RPC-536. Bond, Newwin, and the medical personnel are all seen smiling as they gather around the bed. 
Dr. Newland proceeds to lead the group into singing Happy Birthday. Passing ASF personnel are then offered pieces of Agent Bond's leg. As they eat, they are observed entering a jovial state similar to the medical staff prior to entering the room, and wishing Agent Bond a happy birthday. Agent Bond would know to be conscious and convivial towards the situation. AAR Site 015 Administration became aware of the situation when Dr. Newman was apprehended in the cafeteria, attempting to distribute pieces of Agent Bond. He was noted by members of his staff as acting strangely, frequently repeating, It's Bond's birthday. There's cake in the bedroom. Responding operatives were met with difficulty when attempting to apprehend the affected personnel. They eventually resorted to using tear gas and force to subdue them, then administering Class A-1 amnestics. Following the discovery of the memetic effect exhibited by RPC-536, it was reclassified and its containment protocols updated. Research personnel who had previously interacted with the object were questioned, but none of them experienced similar memetic influence as in the 994-08 incident. Agent Bond's body was quarantined by members of ProLab, establishing Revision 2 containment protocols. They were unable to accurately measure the possible area of effect RPC-536 established, but in conjunction with members of the biology department, performed an autopsy on Agent Bond's body, which they concluded exuded no long-lasting mimetic effects. Despite addressing the medical team performing the autopsy, Agent Bond was officially declared dead at the time of the initial incident. While capable of speech, primarily the phrases, It's my birthday, and You forgot last year, Agent Bond no longer reacted towards any stimuli, nor displayed any vital signs. His internal organs such as the heart and lungs, had transformed in mass alongside the chest cavity's assorted viscera into a yellow lemon cake. His brain, while intact, was inert and had likewise transmuted into a red velvet cake. Rather compellingly, researchers tracked the DNA from the flour used in both Bond cakes to the Mekong River Delta region of Vietnam, which Bond's family was native to. See Figure 536b. Dr. Nguyen also noted that it was not Agent Bond's birthday. Addendum 536.02 RPC-536 remained incident-free under the second revision containment protocols for approximately four months. On September 2000, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake shook Site-015, resulting in RPC-536 making contact with and destroying its containment cell and eventually the concrete supports of the Gamma Beta containment wing. Due to the solid, seamless construction of the sector's concrete support structures, the entirety of the containment wing collapsed under the resultant weight shift due to the instantaneous transmutation. While the concrete was transformed to a remarkably dense pound cake, the collapse in conjunction with the earthquake devastated the site. Approximately 319 personnel died in the subsequent containment breach. Additionally, 56 personnel are MIA. RPC, RPC, and RPC were destroyed, and RPC has still not yet been relocated. Note from Dr. Nguyen, I've submitted RPC-536 for further reclassification following the 536.02 containment breach. We can't hold it here. Not with the shakes and the other anomalies. To think even a minor quake led to all this. I requested to have it sent to Site-024 under my direct supervision. We don't know what the limits to its transformative abilities are. It changed 10,000 tons of concrete in the same time it would change a marble. What would happen if it fell on the ground?